What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is mainly going to deal with this long skateboard from Goodwill for five bucks. It's actually a really good longboard. Uh, it's pretty beat up, but hey, uh, I think we got something interesting on here. Okay, so for the past couple weeks, I've been really, really interested in building an electric longboard. Uh, went on Amazon and read a bunch of informational reviews as well as DIYs on building them. I purchased some parts, many of them have not arrived yet. The build so far, and uh, we'll just get this thing started. So first I have the 83 millimeter longboard wheels. I guess these are flywheels. Super, super slick. I think they're like polyurethane. Really big. And then I have this X-Source uh, electric skateboard mount kit for from eBay. Not exactly sure how this is gonna work though. So let's uh, let's get this thing done. So what I'll do first is I'm gonna open up the electric skateboard motor mount kit. This is from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, it was actually fairly cheap compared to uh, the other ones I've seen from major DIY skateboard dealers. Uh, when I bought it online though, it looked a lot cheaper than I expected. It actually, when it came in, uh, I was actually really, really surprised how good a quality it looks. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is the actual mount that goes onto the trucks itself. This is the belt. The mount that goes to the, uh, this is the gear that goes on the wheel. And then you have your little gear right here that goes on your motor. Now, I'm not one to spend a lot of money. So I picked these up more as a budget reference. Hopefully they work with the skateboard I have. I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out today. That's what I'm here with you guys for. This is the mount. We have arm wrench, screws. I don't know where these go to. Then we have these guys. I don't know where those go either. Looks like we have three little lock-in pins. Go ahead and twist these in here. This is gonna go onto the truck. It'll go right here at the bottom, right on the leg. Screw that in. Screw that in. And then we have our wheel mount. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. How's that supposed to work? So this is gonna go kind of like that. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the wheels off the skateboard and I'm gonna put the bearings inside these new wheels that I picked up. Keep in mind that these were super, super cheap. The skateboard itself was really cheap. I picked it up at Goodwill for five bucks. So don't expect this board to look anything magical <laughs> when I get it all put together. I did wanna mention I also printed my own gears on my 3D printer. It's really what I wanted to use to begin with. However, these were so cheap at the price, I figured I might as well try these first before using PLA plastic material. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these wheels off. Now, all you gotta do is put your skateboard wheel halfway in and then just kind of wiggle it to where it pops off eventually. And eventually it should just pop off, like that. Easiest way, instead of you having to like hammer your bearing out, you just do this with the uh, previous thread. There you go, you got two bearings off. All right, now we have our wheel and our bearings. We're just gonna pop our bearings right in there. Really shouldn't take much pressure. Okay, once you get them kind of inserted in there a little bit, where they're actually in there, to get it on the wheel and stay on, all you have to do is put the wheel on and then just tighten it up. Let the bolt and the bearing do the work itself. We're gonna do this, tighten it back up, and this will automatically push that bearing down just by tightening it. You don't wanna over tighten it though because you don't want to press your bearings and break them, so be careful with that. I think it's in there. Look how big these wheels are. These things are huge. Oh, look how huge they are. All right, now that that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and mount my wheels all over my board and get everything else mounted up, really. Okay. Here is the kicker for today. Okay, so we have our motor mount. 
We have our three mounting brackets right here. And we also have our Allen wrenches. Go ahead and slide that guy on. Now this is really just for test fitment. Doesn't quite fit yet. I'll probably have to grind it down a little bit. But I did want to show you guys how it looks and how it's going to work whenever you put it on. Actually, that does uh, fit pretty good. Uh, the issue though is that the wheel's not going to be able to get on, I guess. Okay. So the way it works is the mount's gonna go on like this, and then the wheel's gonna go here. As the wheel's on, the motor's gonna be here, and then the gear is gonna be on the outside as well. So once that's in there, it'll be able to spin. The wheel will be here, and the motor will spin that little gear. Uh, but yeah, for the time being, I don't have the motor yet, so we're gonna wait for that to come. As it is right now, I'm just gonna ride it as a super sweet longboard. Got a little bit of progress on the electric skateboard. Unfortunately, I had to do a little bit of fabrication. I don't want you guys to have to do that. So if, if you're gonna build this, I would recommend that you buy the trucks that fit it. However, the truck right here, I had to fabricate it down so that the mount could fit it. Uh, once I did that, I was able to fit the gear that goes on the wheel and then put the belt on there. So, uh, basically what will happen is, the motor will fit here, and on the other side, it will clamp this little belt right here, and as it spins the belt, like so, it will spin the wheel. That's uh, basically the process. It was actually really simple to get the little gear on the wheel itself, so that was pretty straightforward. The only thing I had to do was fabricate, and pretty much just grind out this uh, truck a little bit. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend you guys do this at home. If you're not experienced with a grinder, uh, maybe bring it to a machine shop and ask them to do so. I don't know if it's gonna mess up the integrity of the truck. Honestly, I've done this before on one of my trucks in the past for bigger wheels. It never really messed it up. So I, I, I feel safe with this. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the build so far. Now, all we have to do is get the motor in here uh, and then we'll attach the gear that came with it. Once we do that, I mean, we should be good to go. I have all the RC parts ready to go. I'll attach that to the board and then attach the battery to it. Once that's all set up, we'll do a test ride. But yeah, guys, this is part one of the electric skateboard build. So far, the mount kit itself was about 25 bucks on Amazon. The wheels themselves, these are very, very nice wheels. These are 83 millimeter um, fly wheels. They're super wide, super soft, really easy to work with. These were about 20 bucks. And uh, the board and the trucks themselves, five bucks a Goodwill. Uh, so, I mean, so far, it's really only been like 50 bucks spent on this board. Um, I will go over the price of the motor and the RC parts later. Uh, but overall, I'm trying to keep this budget build under $150. And uh, so far, I think I've, I've been able to accomplish that. All right, that's it for today. Oh, uh, another thing, this board isn't exactly made for these wheels, so I may have to chop the board a little bit uh, to where the, the wheels don't rub, or I'll just buy a new board. Boards are fairly cheap, you can get it for 20 bucks. We'll see, I'll update you guys. Next review. But yeah, these things are pretty sweet.